Hey guys, even here, and yes, it's actually happening, Chris Bumstead is doing Open Division this year! You guys thought I was crazy for believing in this, but it turned out I was right. Just like I was right about Nick Walker not posting physique updates, being off for the Mr. Olympia, just like I knew Hardy was panicking that he's gonna be off as well. So many other things as well, guys. You should put a little bit more trust in me. So I, I, I didn't know, really, but I really believed this was gonna happen because Chris, yeah, he teased us and he teases us sometimes. He made that public announcement uh, before the Mr. Olympia will thought that might be him announcing retirement or you know doing the open class but it was just a, a new sponsorship whatever this time around it wasn't only the post chris made but it was also what they said on foot's podcast stefan kinzel and brett wilkin knew about this they didn't want to say it but they knew about it you can see it here in the comment section, Brett Wilkins comment, he says this is gonna be huge, I can't wait, he's not like, wow, I can't believe this is happening, no, he knew, he is close friends with Chris Bumster and he is sponsored by his company, they are training in the same gym as well, so he, he heard something, he heard a rumor, and also Ian Valier also seemed suspicious, and guys, this only makes sense, I mean, this is going to be so amazing for the fans. I mean, you can hear it in my voice how excited I am about this. I mean, this is probably the most exciting thing this whole year, to be honest. Seeing Chris Bumstead in a freaking open division. So the official EVLS Prog Pro Instagram page posted this and they say six times Mr. Olympia winner in the men's classic physique category Chris Bumstead will be competing for the first time in his career in Europe at EVLS Prog Pro. Do not miss this unique debut in the men's open bodybuilding category and be part of it November 16th, 17th Prague. And then Chris Bumstead also made this post as well. He posted two very impressive shots, we're gonna take a look at them in a second, so he says here, y'all said I had a decent physique and I should try competing, so I figured I'd give it a shot, one more run, just for fun, giving the people what they want nice he says three weeks out of evil as Prague pro open bodybuilding i started my competing career in open bodybuilding with no expectations just for the love of the sport so why not finish it in the same fashion more info in my latest youtube video and here you can also see brett wilkins comment been waiting for this one so yeah once again he knew of course, Ian Wallier and Matt Jensen knew it as well, and I understand that it was difficult to believe that it's gonna happen. You know, you guys were like, he doesn't have anything to prove, why would he do this? He can, you know, not win, lose, and like, maybe ruin his career. He wouldn't, he won't, he won't ruin anything, guys, come on. Like, he doesn't have to win. But if he does end up winning against Martin Fitzwater, who was fourth in the Mr. Olympia, arguably could have placed higher, maybe I could see him placing as high as second, you know, some people actually had him in their uh, top two, top three, uh, not me, but like some people, there was a conversation, he was in a top four call out with those guys, like a separate call out, he wasn't with those guys under, you know, under him, he wasn't with Andrew Jack, with Hunter Labrador and call out, he was with those three guys in a call out, so that means Martin is at the top, if Chris Bumstead manages to win this show and beat Martin Fitzwater, that kind of means that Chris could potentially win the Open someday, if he did an off-season where he was focused on growing. But can he do it? Can he win Prague Pro? Well, if he did Romania, which is in two weeks from now, I would think he would have better chances, you know, versus Rafael Brandau and Akim Williams, but Prague Pro, he has a top four guy. A guy that is in the first call out in the Mr. Olympia. So, it's, it's, a, it's a real test right, you know, if he wins a small show with no top 10 Olympians, then it doesn't really mean much, but if we see him compared to the top tier, basically now Martin is top tier for sure, before the Olympia I thought he was second tier, but he proved me wrong, he was in the first call out, he's definitely a top tier bodybuilder, in my opinion, Martin has really big chance of being top 2 or top 3 next year, or the year after, so if Chris, you know, even if he doesn't win, if he just pushes Martin, if it is close, if some judges think he should win, I mean, that would be really freaking huge for Chris, maybe he should reconsider retiring, you know, maybe switch to the Open instead, but that's not gonna happen, you know, he decided to retire, this is just for fun, 
he has a family to focus on, a business, and, you know, he left a huge legacy and he has health issues, so he is not gonna be doing Open seriously, I don't think so, unless he goes crazy after this, you know, wins and it gets to his head and he decides to go all out and risk everything. I mean, it happens to people, but I don't think Chris is like that. I don't think it's gonna happen. So, I think this is just for fun. And I said it already, like, it makes sense, guys. I mean, he doesn't have to do anything crazy now. I mean, I have a client over here in Serbia. He's basically the best classic physique guy in Serbia. He just won the European Arnold Classic overall title. You can check. His name is Stanislav Tarajlo. And uh, we tried the open bodybuilding after that. The next show was three weeks later and he was up 20 pounds. Not as dry as he was in Classic Physique. Over here in Europe, Classic Physique weight cap is a lot smaller than in MPC or IB Pro League. So he had to suffer down, make the weight here. He had no weight restriction and he definitely came in a lot fuller, a little bit more watery, but still it was an impressive look. It looked great for open bodybuilding. I mean, look at the difference. It was huge. We did a great rebound for those three weeks and a different peak week. By the way, guys, if you're looking for a coach, you can hire me, DM me on Instagram. But but Chris can do the same thing and he will do the same thing. He doesn't need to show up as crispy, as detailed, as sucked in the way he's doing it for the classic physique, you know? He's a massive guy, basically. He suffers down to make the weight. I mean, in the offseason, when he's not on gear, he's not exactly massive, but when he takes stuff, I mean, he, his body, uh, it explodes, basically. He always has to suffer down to make the weight, and yeah, I mean, it's good for classic physique, that dried out, sucked in look, it, look, it works in classic physique because you see more details everybody's basically the same size because they're all at the weight caps but when you are dry like that you have more details however open bodybuilding it's all about the size the shape the roundness nobody is shredded really shredded in open bodybuilding nobody really maybe hide japan from the front this year and like from the back as well next last year and uh, derek lance from last year from the back but it's a rare thing really most open guys are just you know lean enough but blasting full super round and that's what Chris needs to bring. With his shape, with his structure, guys, guys, this is going to be amazing. I mean, he is extremely wide through the shoulders and those lats pop out like crazy from the front and the legs have the crazy width as well and the pop, you know, crazy X frame. I mean, if he is like, let's say 20 pounds bigger, why wouldn't he be 20 pounds bigger? I mean, my guy was 200 pounds on stage in classic physique and then he was maybe not 20 pounds heavier. I think he was like, if I converted to pounds, I think he was like uh, 215. Still, 15 pounds in like 3 weeks. That's a lot. And Chris is 240 on stage in Classic Physique, sucked down, you know, making the weight. So how much will he jump? You know, percent-wise, in my opinion, he can probably go up like 20, 25 pounds. You know, we can see him on stage at like 265. Guys, 265 for his frame, his structure, that's gonna be impressive. Do I see him beating Martin Fitzwater? No, 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 I, I don't think so. I would love to see it happen, honestly. Even though I like Martin and he's part of Hostile, I would just love to see Chris Bumstead win. I'll be honest with you guys. I would love to, for that to happen, for a classy guy to prove that he is better than an open guy, than a top-tier first call-out open guy. It would be so amazing for all us classic competitors, but you know, you just gotta love Chris Bumstead, I mean, as well, like, we're all fans of Chris, we would all love to see that happen, let's be honest, but, you know, like, from the front, maybe he's going to be more impressive in, like, in front lat and front double and maybe absent ties, most muscular, like, maybe he can hang, but it's gonna be difficult, Side chest, sure, I can maybe see that side tricep, but like from the back, Martin is going to annihilate him. Chris doesn't have the deepest, the thickest back. I mean, who knows what it's gonna look like once he's full, but and what his back last bit looks like, I don't I don't remember seeing that in a long time. Uh, also, like, you know, even the front shots, like the most muscular pose, I mean, arms of Chris Bumstead are kind of slim and, and Martin has crazy fullness through the arms. But I don't know, guys, honestly, pff, anything is possible. Who the hell knows what Chris is gonna look like with 20 or 25 pounds, or maybe even 30 pounds. Maybe Hunter Emmer can pull some magic and bring him in 30 pounds bigger with basically, with good conditioning. I mean, man, this is going to be epic. This is going to be freaking awesome. 
I can't wait for this to happen. You guys tell me down below what do you think. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I gotta say it one more time, guys. Uh, put more trust into me, guys. I have some instincts for this bodybuilding game, guys. I mean, give me that. You gotta give me that. Anyways, guys, once again, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, guys. Stay tuned. All the best and bye-bye.